Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this podcast, I'm going to explain about the difference between subjective symptom and objective symptom and how to differentiate them and how do they help us in, uh, you know, determining the remedy needed in a given case. Keep listening to this podcast to get a very good idea about them. So what is the difference between subjective and objective symptom? So as we all know, a symptom is something which, uh, you know, depicts externally that there is something uh, wrong that is happening internally. In uh, our case or according to homeopathy, it may be due to a disturbed vital force. So subjective symptom, as the name indicates, it is generally felt by the patient and it is not observable or it is not uh, examined by the physician. Something which can be seen, felt, observed or uh, touched can be called as an objective symptom because it can be examined at the same time observed by the physician. Coming to the subjective symptom helps in drug selection in specifically in chronic diseases and also sometimes acute diseases. Why did I say chronic diseases specifically is because this is something which uh, you know constitutional uh, determination it helps in determination of constitution. For example, uh, there are some uh, subjective symptoms like uh, you know inability to bear something very much tight on the body that is really commonly seen in only some drugs. Whereas you can see some symptoms like they cannot bear uh, exposure to sunlight and they cannot, uh, you know, uh, bear sore food, like eating sore food will aggravate the symptoms. So these are the symptoms that cannot be examined by the physician under some microscope or some, uh, you know, with external eye, they can only be experienced by the patient and explained by the patient. So these are the symptoms which constitutionally help in understanding what constitution the patient have and you know in determining the exact remedy specifically in chronic diseases and sometimes to some extent even in acute diseases for example if a patient says that there is some kind of uh, cough wherein uh, with the sensation of something struck in the tro throat uh, then that will help in remedy selection as well and sometimes if some women complains of like uh, I have all these menstrual complaints with a constant feeling of bearing down sensation in my uh, you know perineal area or perineum then the remedy comes something like that so these are the sensations which are generally felt by the patient and generally help in um, you know specifically remedy selection in chronic diseases and whereas the objective symptoms they help in diagnosis and also remedy selection why did i use this word diagnosis because uh, to understand what is the situation and what is the current presentation a person is suffering with uh, we need to have some kind of examinations for example uh, if a person comes to you with fever and uh, you can say that uh, if the person is have the person is having kind of like hypotension or something by examination of the pulse and like if there is like the pulse rate is less than 40 or there is like bradycardia then you can say that there is a shock kind of situation and by the examination of the blood pressure you can say that the person is having hypotension then he needs to be having some kind of fluids immediately so examination is really really important and that helps in diagnosis of the case and that thing which helps in diagnosis of a case can become can be said something like objective symptom and the main trickiest part with this uh, subjective symptom is it may be confusing because it is explained in the uh, language of the patient which may be uh, confusing for us for, for example there are so many sensations if you take like um, there is reeling sensation there is burning sensation there is bursting sensation there is stitching sensation there is sticking sensation there is pricking sensation so what language the person communicates with uh, the physician so it is a bit tricky like I generally don't go with subjective sensations a lot I don't give much weightage I generally go with objective sensations and I take the case as a whole I just alone won't go with the subjective sensation for example if a person comes to you and say that he's having that uh, raw kind of sensation well if you think that is appears in this given case but even arnica has a raw sensation even causticum have that raw sensation so even there are n number of remedies having that sensation so it's generally a confusing thing for me but most of the people say that it um, you know delineates the remedy selection but for me it's a bit confusing so I generally go I don't go with that when I need to select a remedy in specifically the given acute cases I generally opt it when I have the symptom it is like clear and definite understanding needs medicine knowledge so if you just observe something but if you're not knowing what exactly uh, 
that presentation is it's like obviously that won't be helping for example if a person comes to you and the skin is completely raw it is like oozing bloods here and there and it is generally specifically present only over the joints and the skin is like eroded it's pinkish in appearance scales are coming out of that skin then that is called as psoriasis and if you know medicine only you can understand that to be psoriasis but if you don't know the medicine knowledge and if you don't know the presentation of how it will be presented in front of you it will be a waste of time for the patient as well as you if you are not able to recognize what is the disease in front of you this may be for psoriasis and if a person is having kind of uh, b- blisters like if you take a careful history there is an history of burn so you, if you don't know the pathophysiology of how that uh, blisters form that blebs form and if you don't know how to you know instruct the patient to clean it keep it clean and wipe it regularly and sometimes a fluid or serious fluid discharge may come out of that so if you don't have a proper knowledge of medicine objective symptom will, may not be of much use for us so that is something which is really important so to conclude this in practice both are helpful but we need to be clear which we need to go with so if you ask me i generally rely upon objective symptoms mostly in um, all the cases i give equal weightage to both of both of them but homeopathically people say that you need to go with uh, subjective sensations a lot but as i said in chronic cases when i need to go with a constitutional remedy when i want to end uh, or say end the treatment or when i want to give a remedy wherein the person is not exactly having any health issue but they are not feeling a bit well that demands for a constitutional remedy in the in that given cases according to me so in that scenarios i go with subjective sensations but most of the time i go with objective sensation where i am able to diagnose the case and i am able to give according to that i generally stick on with them so this is what i wanted to explain in this uh, podcast hope this podcast was helpful and of course hope this explanation was helpful if you want more such explanation don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like as well that will encourage me to do more such videos till then bye bye and have a great day guys bye